Welcome to Get Geared Up. This is our last week to be talking about getting geared up for turkey hunting in the 21st century. I want to say I've had a good time, but I'm ready to move on to some other geared up segments. Um, we'll be visiting the turkeys again in the fall. I want to say thank you to everybody that sent me some emails and comments about our top 20 list. We'll be monitoring it all year and I'll be giving you the feedback. And for next week, we'll have a drawing for those who have given me comments and we'll be giving away a Global Outfitters Travel Club membership. So make sure you send in your comments this week. It's your last chance to get in on this month's drawing. I want to say the only item that I added to my turkey hunting list this this spring was the turkey holster and um, and turkey and turkey belt by um, Gunslinger. We have this on our website. It was uh, it helped me get through the woods, kept me kept me from getting hung up when I was in some trees, and it really took the standard um, sling that I had on my rifle and, and very much added some technology and improvement to it. Now I want to tell you before we get rid of our turkeys and retire them until fall, I want to show you a, a nice little um, a nice little decorative item that you can make out of your turkey hide if you're not gonna if you're not gonna mount it or make just a fan mount. It's called a cape mount. It makes a beautiful wall hanging, and as you can see, I've done one right here. Um, I've done them many times. They're very easy, and I'm going to give you some instructions right here. Um, but first, um, I'm going to move over. After, before I move over to the turkey and show you how to do it, I'm going to roll it over on the back side and show you how easy it is. You can see the actual skin is only about that wide, and the feathers have hung over this way. And again, this makes a, um, a real nice wall hanging. Once I... Um, clean out my turkey like I'm going to show you how to cut it here in a minute I, I lay down a pile of borax the shape of the um, of the of the cape and I and I, I, I spread the turkey fan out in the in the back out I take push pins and I use either a thick piece of cardboard or a piece of plywood and I and I pin my turkey mount out in the in the shape that I want and I leave it for five to six weeks and once it's completely dried out I roll it over brush off the excess borax and then spray it down with um, black spray paint or any kind of lacquer or um, or spray paint of any sort just to seal in the, um, the, the oils that are on the back of the turkey mount to where when you hang it on your wall you don't get any bleeding um, of the oils to stain your wall. Now I want to move you over here and show you exactly how to cut your turkey as well when, when you do your turkey mount. I'm getting ready to take my, my nice little mound here home, but before I go on to show you, um, you can see on a turkey how the turkey cape is actually made on a turkey. Um, the, it, 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 it handles a fine line of feathers that go down the back and around the side and move down the hide, kind of forming a, 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 a nice V-shape. And the last part that comes off is the tail and the fan itself. Um, I clean my turkeys by hanging them up by their neck. I simply slid them down the, the breast to the back. I clip off the wings and then I start gently um, skinning the turkey, rolling the skin back down the neck and off the back. The hardest part is, is the fat areas that are on under the breast, but I trim them away with scissors as I go and then I'm, I cut off the fan at the end. The, the, most, the most careful and um, delicate spot is along the back. The, the turkey doesn't have a lot of fat along his back, so um, you, have to, you have to peel that back, trimming it ever so um, carefully not to tear a hole in your turkey cape. But again, once you get that done, lay it down on your borax, spread it out, let it dry. Once it's dried, spray the back side with, um, with, some, with some sort of spray paint to seal it off and hang it on your wall. It makes a, it makes a beautiful turkey wall hanging. Now let's talk a little bit about Get Geared Up as we move back in to the coming weeks. We're going to be moving into fishing season. We have Get Geared Up segments coming on both fly fishing, freshwater um, fishing, and saltwater fishing. We have big game hunting, both steel hunting and stalk hunting. And then in the shooting area, we have um, Archery, hunt, archery shooting and skeet and trap shooting. We're getting geared up for that. And then naturally, when we get into the fall, we've got um, we've got waterfowl coming. So those are at least some of the get geared up segments you'll be seeing in the coming months. I'm going to go ahead and post these on our website to start getting you to give us some feedback on their list. And you'll see next week we'll start talking about some fishing here on get geared up. So join me next time. And right now, let's go see what Bubba's cooking in the kitchen. I believe he's got something very good for us. Take it away, Bubba.